Everybody comes to California because of our ratios and because of our pay, and that is really what the union has done. We represent the University of California registered nurses, 14,000 plus, over five medical centers. A lot of good things like patient ratios, like education hours are all because of the union. Having a strong union in the hospital definitely does serve as a mechanism to protect patient safety and, and ensure quality patient care. Many of our hospitals are the best ranked number one. And they love to use the phrase that we're best in the West. I feel like we need to stay that way, but we need to take care of our nurses in order to do so. Well, I've been a registered nurse here at the University of California for 29 years. Generally, nurses came here for the reputation. They would work here for a few years, get that on their resume, and then they would go on to places that paid higher. Having a strong union has definitely helped us retain experienced nurses and improved our ability to protect patients at the bedside. We have a lot of 20-plus uh, year nurses on our unit. I would not want to work in a non-union hospital. I've been in a union hospital for most of my career. We know that the political climate right now is very hostile towards unions. UC management was proposing a laundry list of takeaways from our current contract. They wanted to have way more discretion over our schedule, be able to change our schedule without a two-week notice. Making nurses rotate from days to night and move from facility to facility. They were proposing takeaways such as like a mandatory overtime. It would mean, mean having to stay longer after your 12-hour shifts. 12 hours your, your brain is pretty fried after that. It would risk patient safety for nurses to stay when they're already very tired. UC was trying to impose a lesser pension that would affect all nurses who were retiring. But the pension is definitely something that uh, um, makes people stay. And it's, it's very important for us to safeguard that so that we can continue having a um, quality patient care here and experienced nurses. So in the beginning we were mostly fighting to have those takeaways removed. And management was putting a lot of pressure um, with their takeaways. So they make it seem like you might lose your job. Uh, there were people in suits walking around, kind of following me around. They will tell lies and misinformation and just kind of create doubt in nurses. We could not have fought that off without a strong union. We had to start collective actions to let them know that we know what's going on and, and this, is our, this is what we're fighting for and we're not going to let you take things away. We had a very successful sympathy strike supporting our other union brothers and sisters in two other unions. We lined the streets of Westwood with a couple thousand people. All of our hard work has paid off. We've prevailed. I feel very happy, very relieved. We've gotten much stronger. Our membership has grown. We have retained nurses with our pension, with our educational benefits. It was because of everyone's collective participation and collective efforts we were able to get a good contract. The nurses are the union. Our power stems from us uniting together with our co-workers and uh, standing as one.